Alright, give me that analysis, home. You want to hear me out there? Yeah! Alright, my name is Lawrence Grand Prix. I'm with Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle. We're a grassroots think tank in Baltimore City. LPSK! So I was born and raised in West Baltimore, and I was actually in Gilmore Homes doing a food giveaway where I saw about five police cars roll up on the people we were doing the giveaway with. And basically, the only way I could describe it is if the police were actually more like a gang than the people who were doing the food giveaway. And think about this. Under the recommendations given out by the work group, they want to make it so that you have to divulge your full name and identity to the police when you pose a complaint. These are the same people who have harassed you and abused you, and now they know who you are. And if they wanted to retaliate, now they can. Now, people are going to say a lot of things about, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that. I want you to remember a few things about these so-called reforms. Even under, if everything they proposed passed, Maryland's Law Enforcement Officers' Bill of Rights will be roughly the same as Arizona's, and Louisiana, wow. even after reform. Wow. And on top of that, the provision Sarah is talking about is straight out of Rhode Island. They took the worst provision from Rhode Island and brought it on down south here to Maryland. So I want you to think about that. That's the way that they've played the game here in Maryland for years. Tell you they're going to reform, put the knife seven inches in your back, pull right. out three inches and Teach call on it progress. That's that's right. Right. Wise man once said that, are you going to play the game or are you going to change the game? Come on, come on. Or are you going to change the game? Come on. Right, so we need you here every day. We definitely need you here in April. Right now, we're maybe willing to hear the process. If they continue to not hear our demands, we are going to disrupt the process. Right. Right. If they continue to not hear the demands of the community, we'll be left with no choice but to try to end the process. Break the leg off. Thank you.